In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Hello again everyone, welcome back, it is day 35 here, we are going strong in season 2, getting towards the very back end of it now, as we close out the season we've got fire making and thieving left to do, one more quest with desert treasure, and then it's the final boss to fight. I was going to do the thieving today, but I think in the past 5 minutes while I was having a spliff, I, I've changed my mind on that one. I think I'm actually going to do the fire making because I believe we, if we do both our botash runs today at the start and the end, we'll be just shy of level 54 hunter, which means at the start of tomorrow when we do our birdhouses runs, we'll get 54 hunter and we'll be able to wear the gloves of silence, which will help our pickpocketing rates on the wealthy citizens. So if we do the fire making today instead, then hopefully tomorrow we can wear some gloves of silence. That's what I'm thinking. And yeah, so today I'm going to burn a lot of logs. Get ready for one hour fire making compilation. To be honest, it might not even take the full hour. Who knows? I haven't done the uh, the log maths. Okay, so we've already got our birdhouse stuff ready to go. We are going to go straight to it. Travel. Clicks are all over the place. What's going on? Okay, so we're going to need 200 teak logs. 203 teak logs. Let's get ourselves a ring of wealth, and we want our rune pouch. And we'll also get the lava bottle stuff. It's already on. Okay. Tinder box. Okay, teak. We already have some, so we can put those there. In fact, let's just get all of our logs. Yeah, I don't really need those. Okay, so teak, 203. We need about 160 more. Okay, and then after that, we're going to be going 42 to 45, which will be 128 arctic pine. We want maple from 45 to 50. It'll be 300 maple logs. Very cheap at least. Alright, it's enough to get us started at least. Let's go on down to the Stein Zone. Farrock. Welcome to my life for the next hour. There's a level. They're going to be coming in thick and flat fast at the start of here, I assume, and then it'll slow down. Gosh, yeah, we get like 4% of a level per log here. That's insane. I don't think I'm going to burn mahogany once. Oh no, we we wouldn't be burning mahogany anyway. We because that's fifty. Yeah, never mind. I was gonna say I was gonna steal maples because they're so cheap compared. Because mahogany is like five hundred GP a log and maples ten. But yeah, we'll be done with uh, maples anyway. We'll be done before mahogany's anyway. Is what I mean. Some arctic pine coming in there to get us to the forty-five mark. There's thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Literally, if you look at my chat log right now, there's fucking every minute is a fire making level. It's literally a level a minute at the minute. I wonder how long until that ends. Probably not long at all. Oh, it's all over, folks. That was our first two minute level. The streak has died. We are level 39 fire making, but no longer are we getting a level per minute. It's sad times in the teak household. We'll be crying all across the UK. Would you believe it? He's only gone and done level 40, another two minute level. See how long we can keep the two minute levels going for. <laughs> Almost done with the teaks. Uh, hopefully these arctic come through. I don't really want to pay any more for them. Otherwise I'll have to get more teaks. 
So they were quite expensive. Right, there come the last of the pine logs. As long as my calculations are right, we should be exactly enough teak logs to finish off. Just make sure those get in the bank on the tab we want them. Oh, it's another two minute level, but I feel like we're getting towards the end of the 908 there. Okay, so we need 21 teak logs. So we have exactly 21 teak logs. Oh, we couldn't have planned it out more perfectly. Why didn't those arctic pines come with? Honestly, no idea why those are so expensive. You get fucking tons of them if you just go kill trolls with a cannon for a bit, which is like a low level slayer task that you get commonly. And they come like nerd, so surprise the worth so much. And there is the 42 and our first arctic pine logs. 20 extra XP per log on the burn here. And we kept up our two minute level actually. Another two minute level? Plus is at total 1075. I can't keep this streak going as long. I'm being, I'm being sweaty with my fire making right now because I don't usually find a lot of joy in this ability, but the fact that I'm actually timing myself is making it weirdly enjoyable. I'm actually having a, a good time fire making right now, y'all. I'm sure it's hell entertaining footage with crazy risk and chance going on and all the fun stuff that people like to watch, but really, if I can just keep getting a level every two minutes, I might just come in my pants. Like, it's ridiculous. I've never been this laser-focused on a tinderbox. As soon as we take three minutes to get a level, though, it's over. All my interest goes out the window. Oh fuck. I got my two-minute level in but then I absolutely butchered the end of it because I was getting hasty and excited. So I'm guessing that was the last one that we get into. We're up to 44 though. Solid, solid progress being made here in the fire making department. To be honest, I'm not sure this is going to take us a lot of it. Like it's going to take us like half the day maybe. So <laughs> we'll be done fairly soon. We will end up be doing thieving without those gloves after all, I guess. Okay, hopefully this is enough to... we need 19 logs. I'm pretty sure we got 19 at least there. No way, I actually did squeeze another two minute level in! How did I manage that with all the fucking bank failing? The streak is hot, y'all. It's like seven levels in a row that we've had. Taking us two minutes of time. And we've literally just upgraded to maple, so I think we can keep swimming here, I honestly do. It's an extra 10 XP per burn, it's not insignificant. Okay, I take it back, I don't think we're going to keep it going. We were like right at the end of the 16th minute. No, The clock just ticked. Unfortunately, this 46th level took us 3 minutes to get. It's not bad though, we started on 35, we did 3 levels in 1 minute each, and then the next 7 took 2 minutes. That one took 3 minutes. Evil Bob. That's not going to be any good, is it? There's no way that's worth my time. That is the big 4-7. Three more levels to go. 48. Coming in hot as a maple log. Probably about another 10 minutes left of this, so I'll have like 20 minutes left. That was 49, there is just one more level to go. 69 burns required. We just need two more logs. Just two more. I'm gonna burn these at the GE. So that's where we're going next. There we go, the fire making is done. I'm just gonna grab myself some dodgy necklaces. They are expensive. God damn, I was not expecting that. I feel like there's probably some profit to be made there. Okay, put that away. Okay, and then do we have wine? No, let's just get some wine. Plenty of wine. Okay, get me two law runes, get me wines out. Bang a dodgy necklace on. Pop that away. Get ourselves a dueling ring. And bank one of them, I guess. We're off. So I was looking up the mechanics behind how the kids work when they distract people. Turns out, it's actually on a timer, it's like every 80 to 90 seconds, roughly. And it doesn't matter where you stand to do it, because the, one of the kids will distract at the same time in each of the three spots. 
there's three different kids and if one of them's distracting over here it, there'll be one distracting at the same time over there so it doesn't matter where you stood oh we have no invent space we shouldn't need any more invent space than that oh here we go it's so nice when you get these all pickpockets in I have to say, so far, this dodgy necklace. I was about to say it hasn't performed, but it literally just got its first thing. Is that person about to leave their house? Because the door's open. The success rate is actually not that bad. I swear it was way worse yesterday. Oh, yeah. She's gone. She's gone. Let's get in there. Because we'll have, like, a full three minutes in here now. Because that's about how long you get. You need more invent space. Oh, my gosh. Man, this is so slow. Oh, got a bonus. It's a nice XP boost. It would be crazy if we actually get the thieving done today as well. I doubt that we will, but... For what it's worth, this is worse XP than blackjacking. We should be blackjacking right now to do this as quickly as possible. I just think it's interesting to check out some of the newer content. And it's pretty chill as well. Blackjacking is very intensive. I've been doing a lot of intensive stuff lately. Even fire making is intensive. Click quiet got to maintain your focus so it's actually nice to just be able to relax here a bit and there's 51 thieving just two more levels to go so you would be a handy thing to do is to tag the people who live in the houses and then you'll be able to see when they're coming back i know the kid gives you a whistle but it never hurts to have an extra bit of warning do it another bonus yeah so i've got lavinia tagged over here i think she's coming back and then the kid whistles Perfect. Rather. Hopefully we'll get another auto pickpocket soon. Oh, that kid's crying. I don't actually really know where the other houses are. That one's the closest one, I know that much. Should probably try and scope the others. Because I do have a key here and I've got a key in the bank. I am failing quite a lot now. Oh. Oh, let me get on him, let me get on him. Worst time to get stunned right as someone gets distracted. Okay, I think when this uh, runs out, I'm gonna go do some more houses. I believe they're all on this side. Yeah, there's three here all next to each other. Okay. We've got a shit ton of keys. We've got five keys. So one of them's gotta be out at the minute, right? Where? There's one here. Okay, so we want him tagged. We want... Oh no, that's not a house, is it? Is there only three? I see. Because that's the person you take the... You get the valuables from, not the... Not a house. So I guess there's three houses, because this isn't one. One, two, three. So this is another one somewhere else, but I don't think so. Okay, so we got Victor there. Oh, that was very quick. Where's the window? Shit. That was close. Time to go check how rich I am. Lovely stuff. Cheers, Victor. I am going to go ahead and go inside your house. How about that? Windows back here. I'm guessing it'll be the other chick that goes out next. And it'll just go around in a cycle, hopefully. So we should just be able to peg it over to her else after this. Oh wow, a gold ring! Oh, I, I shouldn't forget about my bird houses as well though. I'm hoping we can use up all these keys though. If it's about three minutes per house, according to the wiki, then... Got about nine minutes of keys there, so we should have time to do a bird house. Oh, I think he's coming back now. Yeah, it's, it's actually helpful to have them tagged. I got a bit of advance notice there. Got way, way in time. I swear she's gonna go next. I'm gonna chill by these people in case a child gets... Oh no, I just missed it. Maybe it's not in a rotation. Or maybe the other guy just went out. Yeah, there's no one home here. That was a dumb assumption of me to make. What I don't get right, specific people live in these houses, yet we rob the house keys off random other wealthy citizens. How do we get these people's house keys off the random wealthy citizens? And how does house keys just work in every house? Are we to assume that everybody in Valamore has the same house key? They've all got the same lock on the door? Kind of defeats the object of locks, right? May as well just not have keys. There's 52 thieving. I don't think we will get there today, but we're going to be very close. My man's coming back now. It's a good job we're right by the window anyway. Let's see if this person's heading out. If not, we'll run over there. Victor doesn't look like he's going anywhere. Lavinia is just heading to the bazaar. So yeah, it doesn't go in a cycle necessarily. It seems to be random each time. Just not the same one twice in a row, obviously. 
So this will be good to get more of an idea of how this works, how viable it is. Basically, if you want a chill AFK method, this is the version for you. If you want to do it quickly and efficiently, you should be blackjacking. So I should be blackjacking, but you know, this is just a few minutes at the end of the day now that we've spent some time getting to know it. Where did I just, oh, I just got a sapphire amulet. Got tons of these built up as well. And they're not worth that much money, but it'd be a nice little bonus. Okay, I'm gonna trade in 317. We get 17k. Fuck all, basically. Alright, this guy's off. We're gonna go rob his house real quick. And then do a bird house run. Spent like two minutes here, maybe. Not a clock's on two minutes, get out. I feel like you get two bonuses per house, generally. Like the extra valuable deposits. So hopefully we can get one more out of here before we jump out the window. There we go. Ooh, just got another bonus in that I'll have to do though. I'm going to get out of here. Extra 4k. Quickest bird house run you've ever seen in your life. Oh, please let me make it to that bottom one in time. I don't think I'm going to get it. I keep cutting it too close. No, it happened again. It's like the exact same spot almost. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, look how close we are. We're staring it in the eyes. Staring it in the eyes. It's just taunting us. Well, what have we done today, folks? We have got ourselves 110,000 experience. 6,700 in Hunter. A negligible amount in crafting and magic. I don't even know where we are. Oh, that's from Bird House, is the crafting. The magic just from the teleporting we did. 77,000 fire making experience and 24,000 thieving experience. We have flown up in levels today, folks. Flown up in levels today. It's looking great at the minute. We're 5,000 experience away from our thieving levels. We can finish that off tomorrow. And then we can start Desert Treasure 1. So yeah, I'm starting this a day earlier than I was expecting to, really. Uh, we got some supplies to buy up and plenty of fights to do. It's a long quest, so it might take me more than one day anyway just to get this, this single quest done. But yeah, we've made uh, great progress today. The fire making is all done. It's just that one final thieving level before we can start our penultimate quest, if you count the final boss as a quest. That is going to be all for me on this one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know if you're hyped for a raid in Season 3 and maybe we will just get there. Just with a little bit of hype from you all. Hit that subscribe button as well, of course, so you don't miss any of the future content. And other than that, look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. And I will see you on the next one.